So uh, who am I speaking with? Uh, Matt Elders. I run sales and business development for Zubrance. And uh, you were just telling me that uh, the number one problem with uh, your customers right now is they spend all this money in social media, but and they've got all these customers, but they don't know what to do with them. So how do you advise? Yeah, no, I, th I think, you know, over the course of the last 24 months, businesses have really embraced Facebook and Twitter and have recognized that that investment isn't necessarily turning into money, you know, be it sales and leads. And, you know, what they're looking at is trying to identify their best customers and begin to enable those customers to do a variety of things. And so our business is really focused at enabling them to take action, i.e. creating reviews, sharing offers, um, answering questions of prospects and or creating stories and sharing those across the social web to deliver business value for their for the brands. So what's the, the hook though? Like I've got, you know, 10,000 Facebook fans and I want them to actually start producing content for me and sharing. What, I guess, I guess what's the trigger? How do I get them to do that? Yeah, I, I think the trigger is really, I mean, if you think about the evolution of social media, it was really about listening and then came engagement, which obviously happens on Facebook and not all Facebook fans are necessarily advocates. And so the approach that Zuberance has taken is really to, to make it easy for them to create a review and to share that review across whatever platform they choose. So it could be tweeted out, it could be pushed to their Facebook page, it could be shared within their LinkedIn you know, update or status bar. And so all we try and do as a business is really make it easy for them. And we found that advocates don't necessarily need to be paid or incented to share their stories, their, their experiences you know, with a brand.